and Thank welcome, you. welcome to Community Lutheran Church. Those of you that are um, visitors from the community, we say thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, this is a special presentation on this third week of Advent, and it's our cantata uh, prepared lovingly by uh, our director of music, Tom Richardson, and the chancel choir of Community Lutheran Church. So I want to thank you all now for the hard work you've done to God's glory this night. Before we begin, though, I would like to pause for a moment and ask you for one, one favor. At the completion of our cantata this evening, due to its depth and breadth and beauty, um, you may feel like applauding. It would not be appropriate tonight. It is a gift from our choir to all of you, to God's glory, and I hope and my prayer is that you absorb the story for all that it is in this ministry of music, such a gift to all of us tonight. The next thing I'd like to do is pause and say happy anniversary and a special anniversary recognition for Dick and Carrie Kaufman. Carrie, could you come with me? Dick, we can go there. Could you come with me? How about if we come over here with Dick for a moment? Okay? I'm going to offer a special prayer. 52 years? 52 years. Oh, isn't that wonderful? church in their lifetime. We ask blessings upon this marriage, we ask blessings upon their years ahead, and we ask blessings upon these servants, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. could find nothing better to do than counting heads in remote provinces. And this was the moment when a few farm workers and three members of an obscure Persian sect walked haphazardly by starlight straight into the kingdom of heaven, straight into Bethlehem.
in every human heart, there is a place that waits to be filled by the divine. In every soul, there is a part that yearns to feel God's presence. In every mind, there are mysteries that can only be answered by things of heaven. As we gather in this time and place, we open our hearts, our souls, and minds to experience the story of how God visited the earth. Let us be ready and waiting as we call upon his presence. Come, Emmanuel, God, be with us.
Yes, the Lord is truly with us. So now we may leave our worries and fears behind as we prepare to travel on to Bethlehem. When we hear the Bethlehem story repeated year after year, do we forget its holy power and mystery? Have we lost the joy and excitement of the story? Have we grown indifferent to its promise of life, love, and peace? Come, let's go back to Bethlehem and experience the story as if we were children, hearing it for the first time. Listen now, as we follow Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem, where we'll witness the miracle of Christ's birth. And Joseph also went up from Galilee with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she bore forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end.
Suddenly the angel of the Lord comes upon them, and the glory of the Lord shines all around them. The angel says, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Suddenly there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
our Father. 